This year, 2020, marks the 160th anniversary of the fight, the boxing fight, bare fist fights between Heenan and Sayers in Farnsborough in England. Heenan was an Irish-American and Sayer was the All England champion. They met illegally because it was a fist fight, ended up being the last um, real big fist fight. Um, it was a bloody scene, extraordinary, held very early in the morning. Special trains were organised from London out to the improvised boxing rink, which was situated behind a hotel in Farnsborough. Thousands turned up and quickly dispersed at the end of the boxing match when the police raided the fight. Amongst the onlookers at the fight to end all fights was Charles Dickens, Thackeray and a young Prince of Wales. And uh, it's gone down in history. I was recording Joe Watson in the 1970s. Joe was a bushman and had a great interest in, in sports and knew songs about the Melbourne Cup, the Caulfield Cup, races, jockeys and so forth. And one day I asked him about uh, Les Darcy and that led to him scratching his memory banks and coming up with some verses from not only the Heenan and Sayers match, but also Morrissey versus the, uh, the Russian, another ballad uh, where the blood was flowing from Morrissey's nose like claret from the glass. Uh, anyway, this is uh, partly Joe's Heenan and Sayers. Lads and sporting blades, well, listen to my song. It's just a little ditty and it won't detain you long. On the 17th of February, when thousands wanted with joy, when they saw that English champion fight that bold Irish boy. It was in the town of Farns, but all in the bloom and spring. When the burly English champion he stripped off in the ring, he stripped to fight young Heenan, that gallant son of Troy, and try his English muscle on that bold Irish boy. It was early in the morning before that cock did crow, like tigers into battle, well, these jolly lads did go. Oh, the blood did flow in torrents, and never a strike they missed, for they carried a bunch of thunderbolts well fastened to each fist. It's two to one on sayers, the English cried with joy, when they saw their English champion fight that bold Irish boy. But the tiger rose in Heenan, and lightning flashed his eyes, saying, Roar away, old England, and Tommy, mind your eye. They fought for two hours and a half, each proved himself a man, till neither of these jolly lads they had a leg to stand. Oh, the fight was all in favour of that bold Irish boy, when Bobby's bolted in the ring, these hopes they did destroy. Tom Sayers said he soon would lick that bold Benicia boy, but he soon found out at Barnes, but he'd have to mind his eye. Oh, his friends, they were all shaken 
when they heard of this glorious battle. For Heenan Cook says baking and he made his daylights rattle. There's never been two better lads and none could be more game. They are both honest heroes of honour and of fame. Tom Sayers trained with lightning and he was good and strong. But Heenan played with cannonballs when his day's work was done.